I officially think Aldi has us spoiled as all hell. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole. If you are new, thanks so much for clicking on today's weekly grocery haul. We went to Walmart and Sam's and did the online pickup. Definitely am loving all the ready for my local one to get finished building. The one I went to, if you watched that video, I will link it in the iCards above. My very first trip to Aldi, very first time stepping in foot in one and I am like a believer and it's about 40 minutes away. It's taking everything in my power not to go this week. I think we're going to hit up our salvage store and see what they have. And if we don't have any good luck there, we might make another trip. I don't know. I'm just loving it so much, but I really need to limit myself to just twice a month because of gas prices and everything so freaking high. But man, I'm addicted. But let me take it down to the counter and show you what we got from Walmart for about 55 bucks and Sam's Club for 55 bucks total. $50 Sam's Club pickup. That does not include one thing being shipped and $55 pickup from Walmart. This does not seem like a lot for $55 when I just went to Aldi. I'm getting spoiled by Aldi already. But short, sweet haul because of the Aldi trip. Make sure you go and watch that video. So I needed some limes. We're going to be doing at least Ellis's Honey Lime Shrimp Tacos. I've made those several times. Delicious. Got three of those. One package of romaine lettuce to add to the tacos and to sandwiches this week. One five pound bag of potatoes. I wish I would have got this at Aldi. They went up significantly at Walmart. This was almost $4 and they used to be $2.22 and I know they were less than $4 at Aldi. So kicking myself, but it is what it is because if you watch that Aldi haul, it is 40 minutes away. It's not the one close by my house is not open yet. We did get some bread items. I got the Wonder Texas Toast. I've purchased this before to make one of Elise's French Toast casserole things, but I got this for the boys. This is 90 calories, one fat, three grams of protein per slice to make their pizza bread concoction. I usually make with the garlic bread, the frozen ones. I thought this was a little bit better as far as macros than the other ones. We could definitely toast this up, put the pasta sauce, the cheese, the pepperoni on there, and it give the same effect than getting those frozen ones and cheaper in the long run too, right? So I can always freeze this and use this for those things from my lease as well. This is something brand new. So everybody's raving about this Extraordinary Bites brand. Y'all been telling me about it for a while. And I have some items, some items I don't, but I'm gonna be making some new sliders from Elise there on her Instagram page. And I thought we would try the slider buns that this brand offers. They are only 30 calories a roll, y'all, and they're much bigger than the ones that we normally get by either King's Hawaiian, which I never get those, or the Sam's Choice ones, which I like, are 70 calories, but 30 calories a slice and four grams of protein per roll. I mean, shut up right now. We're gonna try it out. That shaves the macros down on slider recipes significantly. They feel super soft. I've heard great things. As far as carbs for my keto peeps, there you go right there. 11 total, eight fiber. The ingredients look pretty minimal, even from like our keto culture. So I've heard the bread, the sliced bread is really good. I'm gonna have to try that one next. It might be better than the one I'm gonna show you in a minute that I've always been going towards. We also got some of the Banderita Street tacos. These are always out of stock, happy to see them. I need exactly 16 for the street tacos I mentioned and we love these. They're only 20 calories a piece. I don't care that they are like low carb. I like them for the macro aspect and they taste like the real deal. Got some cheeses, the sharp cheddar reduced fat. I bought this last week, but I need another block for a recipe. And the boys like the Italian style and we can use this for recipes too because the macros are pretty good for their homemade pizza concoctions and Lunchables. This is the finely shredded and it's 90 calories for a third of a cup, 28 grams. Got one chicken gravy packet for a recipe and it's pricey though for what it is. I'm like, I wish Aldi would have had that. I didn't see that at my Aldi, I would have grabbed it. Skipped over the hot dog buns. These are the ones for the boys for their hot dogs. They've been really liking that lately. And I mentioned this in the last grocery haul that these are the lowest like regular hot dog buns I've seen as far as calories, just 100 calories. Most of them are like 110 plus and three grams of protein. So happy to see that. And they were 93 cents, which is the same price as Aldi. Y'all, what's the deal with Bold House Farms? They have went down on their ounces. They're usually 14 ounces. I know this because I still have one in the fridge and they are like $4 a piece. What the hell is going on? But I'm like only down to my ranch, that's all I've got, and we wanted the cilantro avocado to go on the shrimp taco, so I paid the man and got it, but dang, 
Come on now, don't lower our ounces and then up the price. What's up with that? Two packages of the Fairlife fat-free milk for the boys and for any recipes I might need. Got a four pack of the Libby's sweet peas. This is lightly seasoned with sea salt and for each little cup is 45 calories, eight total carbs, two fiber and three grams of protein. Ingredients good. Got this to make some macro friendly tuna casserole. I love tuna casserole growing up. It's like the worst thing on the planet you can eat the way that I've made it learning from my mom. <laughs> Easiest thing though and that's why she made it and cheap but I'm gonna be making a macro friendly version and I'm definitely gonna film it for you guys for a lunch video. We love these M&M fun, fun cups. I love them. They're 120 calories for a cup. Definitely get that chocolate swirl throughout the cup. Plenty of M&M so I recommend if you are in a deficit but you don't wanna feel deprived but you don't wanna blow your calories and you don't wanna eat off plan, guys, there's still options out there for you. And if you're in a calorie deficit moving your body, you're going to lose weight. So it's a win-win. I don't know how this happened, but I was out of no sugar barbecue sauce. I was making Elise Ellis's barbecue chicken thighs and I had no baby rays on hand. I was like, what the actual hell? I thought I had a backup, but I had some old G Hughes in the fridge. So we've cleaned out all the barbecue sauce. I have none. When Dixie usually does a good BOGO deal, so I have to stock up then, but I just got one at Walmart. The original is our favorite. It is 15 calories for two tablespoons and it's delicious. It tastes just like the real deal. I am low on men's garlic, so I just picked up this eight ounce win in water and that's all we caught for 55 bucks at Walmart. $50 from Sam's and is not included, $22 worth of toilet paper that's being shipped to the house. They're still not selling certain paper products in my club anyway. I know, crazy, but that's being shipped. That was half of the total was a freaking toilet paper, but we need it, necessity, right? They finally got the deli meats at my store. My store has not been selling the deli meats at all, and they finally got like all of them. So I was super happy because this was a great price for one pound, six ounces of the uncured black forest ham is what we went with. Y'all know I usually get the great value in, but this one is awesome macros, 50 calories for 52 grams, one fat and nine gra grams of protein, and the ingredients are good. So I got that for either myself if I wanna throw that in some type of omelet, or the boys are loving that for Lunchables and sandwiches. Speaking of sandwiches, I did get our usual two pack of the Nature's Own Life Honey Wheat Keto Bread. I'm gonna try that Extraordinary Bites. They have a white bread version that looks really good, and I think it's 30 calories a slice. This one's 40 calories a slice. So it does shave things off significantly. I looked at the bread in store and the Extraordinary Bites looks like the slice is maybe a little bit smaller, but we're gonna see. I use this for the Jack Perez French Toast Casserole. If you follow me on Instagram, I make that multiple times a week and the boys use this for sandwiches. Got a big bag of lemons because I flew through the ones from Walmart last week, but these are like lemons on steroids, so this should last me a while. Those ones from Walmart were not good at all. Did a refund because they were like rotten, like half of them were rotten too, so that was a reason why we went through them as well. And then of course, I always throw one of these in my order, a Members Mark liquid egg white, still freaking pricey, $14 for a six carton pack, but it is a necessity, gotta have it, and we're eating a lot of them this week on the meal plan, so had to get it. So $100 total for our small haul from Walmart and Sam's Club because we scored at Aldi. So that's gonna do it for this weekly Walmart and Sam's Club grocery haul. Please give it a huge thumbs up if you look forward to grocery hauls here on my channel. And if you are new, I'd love to have you part of the family. Make sure you hit all the bells and whistles before you leave. It is Father's Day this weekend. We've got some yummy things we're making. So make sure you don't miss next week's grocery haul. And if we go to our discount store, Aldi, all the things, you never know. You never know what I got at my sleeve. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I hope y'all have an awesome day. Y'all have a fantastic weekend and we'll see you in next week's grocery haul. Bye y'all.